Capricorn, what's this relationship that you're trying to keep on the hush hush, huh? You see that this person's very attractive here with this Queen of Wands. Could be a fire sign person. You know we love a ratchet fire sign over here, family. But it's the 11s for me. Could be dealing with a Libra with this Justice card. Could be dealing with somebody that's born the month of November, Scorpio Sagittarius. But it's the new relationships vibe and protecting this, being quiet about it, being very defensive over it. Ooh. Somebody's feelings are involved, Capricorn. Capricorns, tap in. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Down to Earth Tarot. Please hit the like button, subscribe, join the membership family, and be sure to let me know where you're watching from. Shout out to everybody in Michigan, especially Lansing and Detroit. Capricorns. It's the 1111 for me with the Four of Wands, the Justice card. Somebody bringing balance to the table. Equal, an equally yoked situation. We see the overall energy is this cooperation with this Three of Pentacles. Things coming together, things working out, everybody doing their part. You know I love the story of the little red hen. This is, this is actually where the hen gets help, right? So whether this is a romantic thing, which it's looking like, though for others of you, this could be a major business move that's looking good. Some of you being very focused on your career. Um, some of you wanting to protect this at all costs. Notice the black cat here. The world. Ooh. The fixed signs, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio. But this is a pause before the start of a brand new journey. Yeah. Oh, so you don't want to tell nobody about it because it's new. It's new, new, but I'm, I'm getting the vibes that some of you are ready to go all in with this person. Some of you, this is an ex. Some of you, this is a new person. Why is that Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, though? Clarifying with a deck I haven't used in a while. Because I'm getting bored. Using the same decks all the time. It's driving me crazy. So what's this Wheel of Fortune situation in the reverse? Don't tell me that this is a rebound situation that's that's looking like it's about to turn out a certain type of way. Mm, okay, Seven of Cups. Who was born in the year of the snake here? Or maybe maybe somebody loves snake skin something. Boots, shoes, purses, clothing. But that Seven of Cups is not knowing exactly what's going on. Having many options. It could very well be a rebound situation. Keeping your options open. Situationship. The four wands speaks to me as, as something that is starting very new. But again, that equally yoked here, balancing things out. A situation that's just supposed to go with the flow is looking like it's flowing quite nicely, Capricorns. The seven of cups, the queen of wands again, and this, okay. Okay. So let's talk about two people. Well... Yeah, let's keep it simple with the two people relationships, right? Two people equally equally matched. Validating each other, needing the same type of attention, speaking each other's languages, love and otherwise. But it gives the vibes of both, pe both people feeling seen, be feeling heard. It being very exciting. Notice that Queen of Wands, again, very beautiful, um, attractive, but focused. Driven. And the Queen of Wands is somebody who can hold her own. This is also the vibes of feeling very safe, comfortable, able to like let loose. That Six of Wands as well, being celebrated, right? Some being ready to be received, somebody missing you, wanting wanting you to get back home, wanting to get back to you. We see more of that fire energy, even with this Ace of Wands. Mm. And again, something new, exciting. Who's this fire sign person? Please drop your sign and this person's sign in the comment section, Capricorns. All this fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cuspers, drop your birthdays. Aquarius, Cuspers, drop your birthdays. 
some of you, I do feel like there may be multiple options for you. Again, that seven of cups symbolizing that. But there is clearly with that seven, not the seven, the queen of wands showing up twice. Somebody that is standing out above any and all others. See the ace of swords here. So who's just in the talking phase, possibly with an air sign person? We see Gemini. We see Aquarius with the world. Or excuse me, Libra and Aquarius. And you see the math problems here, or maybe a little bit down here, looking like trigonometry, too, too complicated for me. It gives the vibes of somebody being very intelligent, good with their words, educated, always good. Because when somebody says that they were with a dummy, it makes me look at you like you might be crazy, because why were you... Dealing with the fool. Okay. Those of you that have Pisces in your chart, or water in your chart, just in general. This Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio vibes. Again, the November. Showing up strong. This hangman is chilling. Taking some time. Waiting to get some clarity. You know, reevaluating the situation. But it's also this letting go. Look at... How relaxed this person is. So it also speaks to both parties being very flexible. Again, it's the meeting each other's needs. Respecting each other's space with the hermit here. Virgo, Pisces, mutable signs. More Pisces, little cancer action with the moon. Who's this person that like, I feel like likes the water, lives by the water, likes water. It's the blue green for me. And the being alone. Because me, I like to swim. I like to be under the water for what little time I can hold my breath and just kind of float, wade in it. But this, again, speaks to that just floating, being comfortable, feeling safe even with the moon. And then having these deep feelings, right? The hermit here, that introspection, being single, So why do I feel like there's distance between you and this person? Something about the moon. The moon and the, and the hermit here make me feel like there's like, could it be a long distance thing? We see Aries with the emperor. Somebody is wanting this with the moon to go the distance or turn into a serious relationship here. Ace of Swords, though. Let's clarify this. Some of y'all are worried about it being too soon because uh, I feel like you're meeting this person coming up out of something. And if it's not you coming up out of something, maybe this person was. Okay, not another Ten in Reverse, baby. The Ten of Wands and this Hangman. Now, this is letting go of those heavy burdens. Letting it go, moving on. And again, the Ten of Wands traveling. The being flexible with the traveling. The being flexible with the having to, you know, commute to see each other. The Hermit and the Eight of Swords. Somebody's feeling the feels. Stuck in their feelings with the moon. And shout out to the people that live 98. Excuse me, that were born in the year 98, or excuse me, 89. The 89 babies tap in. But somebody feeling stuck and trapped emotionally, again, I feel like because of all the potential for it to grow, the fact that it is going very well, the fact that I feel like it's moved very quickly even for some of you. And before you go and talk about it or let the world know, blast it on the internet, I feel like a lot of you want to be sure. You know, that the rug's not going to be pulled out from underneath you. See the tower here in the bottom? Mm-hmm. Wanting to, uh-huh, wanting to keep your distance to avoid that uno reverse. Draw four, yeah. With the five of pentacles here. And I don't feel like it's so much the distance, though. I feel like some of you are literally at a distance, it being a long distance thing. Um, 
but not wanting to dive all in before you've given your opportunity yourself, excuse me, an opportunity to really get to know this person or to really deep dive into the situation. It's not a fear of commitment or fear of being vulnerable as much as it, as it is. This is moving fast and yes, it's going very well. But like doing your due diligence to make sure that everything is actually safe and okay instead of just, okay, oh, excuse us, Big Blanche, Chariot, Nine of Pentacles, King of Swords, keeping up the lines of communication. Over. And again, that comes back to this Three of Pentacles cooperation. Both parties willing to cooperate. I, I also feel like this Nine of Pentacles and this Chariot, there isn't a label on this thing. While I feel like it's exclusive, it's looking that way. There isn't a title. There isn't anything on it. It's just kind of moving right along. But there may be a need to have a conversation about where someone stands, what they're thinking, what they're feeling here. Or even is there, is there other competition? And really with the Seven of Cups and this Five of Wands in the reverse, it's looking like somebody's on the up and up and being honest. Like again, it's exclusive on both ends. Or, maybe I should use the word exclusive. Somebody's not trying to play you. It's the equal. It's the equal energy of wanting to see where this thing can go, and and putting this energy into focusing on each other. And we see the high priestess here. I need to trust your intuition, trust your gut, as you move forward with this. The high priestess asking those questions. Four of cups. Ace of cups. Page of Swords. What's this doing a background check? Or, you know, watching their social media. See, and I hope that there's not somebody that's insecurities are going to get the best of them with this Page of Swords. Snooping, you know, saying things out of the side of their mouth, being immature with their communication. This tower, heavy Scorpio with the tower and now this death card, but a smooth, wanting to smoothly transition into the next chapter. And why do I, I feel strong that it is a Scorpio or a Libra involved. And Libra was in the readings heavy um, yesterday. This Ace of Wands here. And taking this brand new passion opportunity and really and really investing in it. We see Dorothy here looking sad and scared with this three of swords, but it, it gives a vibe of just being nervous about this new opportunity, nervous about this person. And yes, of course, you know, we got the Eeyore rain clouds with the Dorothy Capricorn and the negativity, but it's looking like things are okay. Like everything's going to be fine. Again, it's the effort that you put in. And if it doesn't work out, then you keep it moving. What are you going to do? Cry for 10 days? You have to keep it pushing. Again, this is this to me does not speak to a relationship as much as trying to figure out where it can go. It has the potential to go there, but not quite there. And we see, again, the potential to go there. Knight of Pentacles, heavy Virgo now with the nine and the knight. Okay, but not quite all the way there. Building blocks, taking your time, putting in that effort, getting to know each other, having the conversations. Even, even with this Knight of Pentacles, taking a road trip. Or you know what? Maybe if this person's, you know, if you have good taste, they like Adam Sandler movies. We see Big Daddy here written on the saddle. Uncut Gems. Or my personal favorite, you know, a sports story. Water Boy, The Water Boy, Bobby Boucher, The Mud Dogs, The Four of Pentacles. This is the beginning of the foundation of a relationship. Again, all the potential being there, but needing to just take their time, take your time, take each other's time to build something. Again, the six of wands, meeting each other's. But it's really the vibes of both parties, especially you, since this is your reading Capricorns and or cross watchers who ever clicked on this, um, of being seen, being heard. For those of you that were coming out of something or were feeling depressed, experiencing a breakup, as we see a commitment coming to a close, again, that rebound energy, 
this person fulfilling those needs. You know, hopefully it's just not a hopefully it's just not a temporary thing. The six of wands and the six of pentacles, six, six, drop those repeating numbers you've been seeing lately. But the six of pentacles, the Libra vibes, is trying to balance things out, equally giving and taking. And because it is in the upright, that's exactly what this is. It is equal giving and taking in this situation. And equal giving and taking. The judgment here, saying it out loud, revealing some things. And then we see this offer of a commitment here with the Page of Pentacles, the offer to do something new. So what, I'm get, what I get, Capricorn, for those of you that are nervous in a situation where everything is seeming to go well, is just continue to be yourself, do, do what you've been doing. Be open, keep the lines of communication open, be understanding, continue to be flexible, work with them as they're working with you. It really speaks to giving this person the same energy that they're giving you. And that's regardless. Even if they were treating you bad, you might want to just give them no energy, right? This, this is, this really is, it's like common sense. Now we see another six, the six of cups, the six of pentacles, and the six of wands choices and consequences somebody's going to come forward and, and make this offer to make it to make it something more make it more serious uh, and to me the six of cups to become exclusive two of swords three of wands ten of pentacles here to come exclusive to somebody's going to reach out and talk about the next step i feel with this ten of pentacles it's going to be a baby step but i clearly wanted to see where it can go where things are headed, looking down the road, seeing that somebody feels like it can go the distance here with this three, with this three of wands. And look at the star, Aquarius. I feel like that's what really has you nervous. Capricorns and cross watchers. Well, Aquarius energy, Libra again, Taurus with this Empress. Is that somebody's very worried that everything is working out right now and it's feeling all good, but it may not. That negativity is the beginning of self-sabotage. That's exactly what it is. Just continue to do what you've been doing. No more, no less. And I'm throwing cards everywhere. And since this fell right back into the strength, shout out to those of you dealing with a Leo. Having the strength and the courage, I feel like, to communicate, to speak on your feelings, or to even ask the questions about where they stand. If you're uncomfortable asking somebody where they stand, or just having a conversation with somebody, maybe they're not for you. I mean, that's that's really what you got to consider. But the strength, this is things are really coming together here. And what I'm really getting is you're building a strong connection with somebody that is deeper than just physical appearances or a physical relationship. There's a heavy attraction here based on again looks, intelligent, the whole package. Trust your gut about what you need to do. Pisces energy with this high priestess. And also trashing out about keeping this a secret and not saying anything. This four of wands. Let's get into this little Libra here, this justice. Again, consistent balance throughout this entire reading. And we see somebody's actions are clearly matching their words here. The justice card, this king of wands, and the temperance here. Sagittarius cuspers, December birthdays. Tap on in. But again, take your time. Continue to... Watch their effort, watch their actions, and give exactly what they're giving. And I feel like a lot of you are going to move smoothly into that next phase. And that fear of things going wrong is just, it's really going to leave you. But it, it starts with really taking this leap of faith here with the full Capricorns. That's all I have for you today. Please hit the like button, subscribe, join the membership family. Let me know where you're watching from, and I'll be tapping in with you very soon. Keep it real.